Vacation. Great. Took in Yosemite. I think this hill got steeper while he was gone. Oh, have you thought about living on the island? No. Kathy won't consider it. It's too close to the con, she says. Then she doesn't have to take the boat over from Frisco every day. Did you tell her about all those great restaurants we got here? Yeah, those great little shops. Yeah, but you know women, once they make up their minds, Welcome home, Cease. Yeah, I can hardly wait to get back. <laughs> Good morning. Morning. All yours, Bert. Thanks for nothing. <laughs> See you later. Okay. Armory. Oh, this is Birch in the West Gun Gallery on watch. Right. Must also be prison gray. Hey, kid. See, they still got you in lockup, huh? Oh, I ain't got nothing for you. Nah, I'm lying. There was a letter. I read it, see? And it just make you feel bad. It's from your old man. It says your sister's been sleeping all around and your mama's got Fiji. At least that's what they'd write if they knew how. Meanwhile, Pachuco, just behave yourself or I'll see you in solitary. Breakfast. Move it out. You with us? 
I got till noon. Serving up grits today. That ought to please you, Marv. No, sir, we ain't much for grits in Tennessee. That's farther down south. My little girl, though, she took a liking to him honey. My little girl ears may not be so little anymore. She ain't. Tola sent me a picture two weeks ago. Hard times, Mr. Bristow. That's how I got here, just trying to feed him. You got the time? Time? What do you care? You're not going anywhere. Right. You sure are right there, Mr. Bristow. All accounted here except the lockups. Bert, send down 107. Right. Morning, Mr. Corwin. Mr. Lagerson, uh, how are your bunions, Mr. Miller? A lot better, thanks. That moleskin stuff you told me about really works. Much obliged to you. You still losing weight? Oh, I'm afraid so, Mr. Miller. My gums hurt so bad, most of the time I, I just can't eat anything. You need to take something for the pain. Well, Doc won't allow no painkillers, Mr. Miller. Strict regulations. 
Maybe I could speak to the warden about your condition. He's a reasonable man. And... I don't think so, Mr. Miller. It wouldn't look good to the other cons. But I should do. Thank you for the offer. Mr. Lagerson. Coming in. Bert, send down key 107. Simpson, feel much like eating today. Got a six slip from the dock. Said I might have an ulcer. Ulcer? That comes from worry. You haven't got anything to worry about for the next 99 years. Ain't that right, Thompson? Yes, sir. Log him in his cell, notify his work foreman that he won't be going back this afternoon. Lock it up. 
Okay, take it up. Lunch is over. Back to work. Okay, move it out. Let's go. Hurry it up. Okay, I'm going to lunch. Bert, Miller's on. I'm taking off. Lunch for me, too. I'll see you later.
I got permission to go from my yard town now. Okay, turn around. I said turn around, Humbert. Okay, that's enough. Get him in a 403. Take it easy. Keller's one of the few good screws around here. It'll work. Keep an eye on Miller, kid. Hey, what's the chances they're gonna have some hacks in that other good guy we got here? Not till after four o'clock. You and Crutch are going down. Keep an eye on a sally port door for any screws coming through. I'll take care of any screws. You just get birch. We got enough time, Bern. Crazy Sam can keep it up long enough. I'll make it. I'll kill you! Dark cell with bread and water. Now I tried to warn you. Just keep him locked up, Cease. We're out of backups. Oh, you'll get the hole for sure. Won't be the first time. Hey, look, I gotta get back. Miller's all alone. Come on, kill you! I'll kill you, Solid! Stay with it, Bert, a couple more minutes till he comes down.
Hold it. I wouldn't do anything dumb, Chief. I don't want to see you hurt. So why don't you walk real nice and easy over to 403? I wouldn't be surprised if Mr. Miller was waiting there for you. Okay? What? I didn't hear you, Mr. Bristow. Okay. Right this way, Mr. Ligas, and we see the spot for you. Okay, okay. Got another one for you, kid. Yeah. Buddy, go down and cover the Sally Port door. I'm going in the deep block. individual and then hit number 22. That's his cell. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. Here, grab this stuff. Birds. He's out colder than a mackerel. By the time he comes through, we'll be long gone. Okay, I'm coming down. Thank you, buddy. Thank you, Bernie! Thank you! It's running perfect, Bernie. Perfect. The boat gets here on time. The boat's always on time. Just 
take it easy, Bill. Don't worry, Mr. Lagson. It's going to be okay. I never would have expected you to be in a fool thing like this, kid. We're doing all right so far. You are going in there. Yeah. Hell, you get him out of there. Something. Like that. Of course, there's no one to get her. Shut up! What are you talking to me like that for, you brown skin nerd? I thought you better get this crazy out of here before he gets hurt. Hey, enough! I don't like that. Hey, come here! What the hell's going on here? You wanted me to give him one of the hacks. Judge, I told you. We need these guys. You gotta keep Sam in line. It was Corrin, he got me a whip. Here, take this. <laughs> Thanks. Mr. Lagerson? Get your watch. Sorry, sir, but I'm on time schedule. Two o'clock straight up. Late. I'll build in an extra ten minutes just in case. Sam, go get Thompson. Tell him we're getting ready to go. Mark, get 107 out of that bunch of keys. Got it. We're going. Straight through the yard down to the boat. How the hell did you do that? Hostages. Four guards. You can still come, you know. What do you say? I was dumb enough to get into this joint, Bernie. I ain't crazy enough to try and break out. Well, we're going now. Where, Bernie? That's the problem. Where? You think it's worth it? I tell you the God's truth. If I have to wake up one more morning in a cement cage, nine by six, not even knowing if it's daylight outside, you better believe it's worth it. Like I told you, Bernie. Good luck. That's 107. Look for yourself. Bill, how the devil did you end up with it? I know, I know. I should have sent it back up to Birch, but he just left for a All right, get on out of there. Come on, get moving. Move it. Come on, move. Coy. It ain't there. Huh? 107, the key to the door. Hubbard says he can't find it. Marv. It's got to be there. Bernie, I looked 10 times. It ain't here. Get up to the window, see if the boat's here yet. You and Sam get over to Broadway by the cutoffs in case another screw comes through. You and Durant are staying on hacks. Boat just got in, Bernie. You find the key? Get Miller over here. hurt you. You've always been square with me. All you gotta do is tell us where it is. What? The yard key. Number 107. And the key rack up there. No. We brought them all down. There ain't no 107 here. Now where is it? I don't know. 
Turn your pockets out. Pat him down, Marv. Right. No key, Bernie. Shoes. Take off your shoes. I told you, Bernie. I don't have it. I want that key, Mr. Miller. Else I'm gonna have to use this. No, you won't, Bernie. Kretzer might. Her buddy Thompson. Her crazy Sam, for sure. But you're not a killer, Bernie. You never killed anyone. You don't have the stomach. Hey, Bill. Bill nuts or something? I... That's right, for dead. Don't move. Don't try anything. Good. Get him over there with the rest of them. Search those other guards. Come on, move it. Keep an eye on that boat. screws. Nobody touches them. I gotta blow your head off. You're not the only one can blow heads off around here, Coy. They're starting to load the boat. Get them back inside. Move it. Thompson, come with me. I want you to take each and every one of these keys and try them in the yard door. It might have a duplicate with a dummy number on it. Anything wrong, Cliff? Trying to reach the phone in cell block C, but there's no answer. Now, those chow hounds Miller and Laguson are probably down in the kitchen stealing donuts. Ring the dining hall. If there's no answer, I'll check it out. This pretty, huh? Stuck here, all of us, with your stupid plan. What are you talking about? There's nothing wrong with the plan. Seven years Bernie was thinking this out. He's the only guy ever figured out how to get to those guns in that damn cage. Took him eight months to get them metal pieces out of the machine shop. Eight months hiding them in the toilet. Eight months starving himself so he could make it through them bars. Worked perfect, huh? Then why aren't we out of here right now? Why aren't we on a boat to Frisco? Rack it open. Okay, let's go. Everybody out of the cell. Come on, move it. Another guest. Thank you. I know you. You're the one who put me in isolation. Hey, Dutch, give me that gun. Hey, go ahead, Bean. I want you to. Okay, Sam, that's enough. Get him out of the cell, over the door. You too. Move! Get out! Come on, move. Move it. You are fast. You move. What's the matter? It's jammed. One of the keys I cried got stuck. I couldn't get it out. Even if we could, we got nothing. The boat just left. Still stuck. 
great toy, just great. We finally get 107. Now we can't get the other damn key out. You might as well forget it, buddy. What the hell difference does it make? The boat's gone. Oh, wait a minute. Wait just a second. Suppose we got that boat back again. You think they're gonna bring the boat back for us? If they had to. If we got some of those wives and kids for hostages. Wives and kids? We don't go straight to the dock. We go the other way, where the screws live. Hey, Dutch. Now, hold on a minute. If we had them as hostages, they'd give us anything we wanted. You know, what he's saying makes sense. Yeah. This far, by God. Do we get some women now, Dutch? Shut up. Let's take a walk. Hubbard, you and Durand will get back to the cutoff. done without taking out the tower screws. We got hostages. Yeah. If we're headed for the boat, the screws wouldn't touch us. Once we start going for the families right here on the rock, we'll start shooting, hostages or not. Okay. We take them out. Yeah, sure. All we gotta do is ice one screw and we're all dead. Every one of us. They'll never stop hounding us down. They never will anyway. There's another way. Put him out of commission. Wound him. Sure. I didn't know we had a Buffalo Bill in this little outfit. Who the hell can shoot that gun? I can. I grew up hunting squirrels. I could pick a man's finger off at 100 feet. It's too risky. Look, no one's dead yet. As long as we got the threat of killing someone, we just might get out of here. This one better work, Bernie. I'd feel a lot better if we had guns. No guns in the cell house. The woman won't give an inch on that. Open it up.
sorry, Mr. Sundstrom. You're gonna have to join the party. Come on. I don't see a thing. Warden Johnson, this is Officer Fish at the Armory. Sir, I think we've got some real trouble at the cell house. I told you there wasn't going to be any shooting. Well, I can't keep that promise. Some guards, they're going to get hurt. So, well, you can still pull out. Why don't we both pull out? Nah, it's too late for me. After this, I'd be in solitary till the day I die. Well, no one's treated me square like you, Bernie. Look, I'm letting you down. Hey, kid. Don't worry about anything. We just had a couple of slip-ups. But I'm getting out, see? I'm going home. Good luck, then. Yeah, I guess we could use a little of that. So long, man. So long, kid. I'll send you a postcard. How was that? Good luck. Is he pulling out? You're gonna let that yellow belly look that he's out, Dutch. He can do what he wants, and he wants out. Five minutes. That's all I need. Five minutes, and we'll be out of here. Seven now. Get that door open. Warden, we got three guards down at the watchtowers, wounded. Kick on the siren. got a report, sir. They spotted Dutch Kretzer with a gun. Kretzer? My God, he'd kill his own mother to get out of here. He must have sprung him out of lockup. God knows how many others. How many guards do we have in the cell house floor right now? Nine, plus Birch in the gun gallery. We haven't heard from any of them. Yes? General Stilwell on the line, sir. Joe Stilwell? Yes, sir. You heard the siren over in San Francisco. He wants to know if you want him to send over the Marines. General Stilwell, this is Warden Johnston. I gratefully accept your offer. Now, 
Not one damn thing has gone right since the beginning. Face it, Coy. This is a bust. The whole damn thing is a bust! You know, they're gonna be here any time now. No, not while we still got those nine screws. Maybe I could call the warden. See what he wants to swap for him. Hey, that's great. Maybe we can get an airplane. Shut up, Sam. You tell him we got to get that boat. Okay, you tell him that, Coy. Yeah, that's it. The boat. Dutch, you say it right, Dutch. You're getting like everybody else. You don't listen to anything I say. All right, Sam, I'm sorry. So it ain't right. Give me the ward. Bernie Coy. He's calling from the cell house. Line three. Warden, I'm sorry to trouble you, sir, but I think we're ready to talk some business here. Now you listen to me, Coy. Any arrangements I might make will have to be based on the proven fact that my officers are still alive. We got them. You'll see them. Believe me, we don't want any killing. Just bring the boat back. What? We want the boat at the dock. Now. Well, I can't put out an order like that without permission from Washington. They still haven't gone through the yard door. Suppose they have the key? If they got into the gun cage, they have it. But they haven't used it. I wonder. The lock is designed to jam if the key isn't used properly. Do you suppose that... No, 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 I don't think we can count on that. I'm sending an assault team into the gun cage. They can draw whatever weapons they want, but absolutely no guns on the cell house floor. Yes, sir. Damn it, are we getting the boat? Go get it! Say we kill one of these hats, show them we mean business. Look, Dutch, get this straight. We're not killing anyone. Anyone. Now I'm going over and make sure they're not sending somebody in on the other side. You stay here and keep our buddies company, okay? Here you go, Bernie. One in the chamber. Be right back. Hey, where are you going? Bernie said to stay right here. No kidding. You know, I don't take orders from anybody. Do you understand? I said, do you understand? Quick, get Birch out of there. started firing away, no warning at all. My God, I gave him a taste of their own medicine. Crether, so help me if you've killed one of them guards. <laughs> you really love those screws, don't you? We've been waiting, Warden. No bolt, no deal. I told you, you don't go killing one of my officers and try to bargain your way out of it. What are you talking about? Nobody's been killed. I made certain of that. Officer Stites, he's dead. They carried him down from the gun gallery. And right now, you give yourself up right now or we're coming in, Coy. We'll kill you and Kretzer and every other damn con that's had a hand in this. That's the deal. Leave the lights out in the cell house. As soon as it gets dark, we'll try to pull our men out. Just had to show him, didn't you? Just had to show him what a big shot you are. What's eating you? A clean break wasn't good enough for you. No, you had to shoot yourself a screw. So? 
Look, if I killed a screw, he had it coming. Sure, and you lost us our last chance to get out of here. Uh, your last chance, you killed ah! Get back! Back up, Sam. Okay. How you want it to be, Dutch? You want us to start killing each other? Or you want to bust out? I want out of here. Okay. Give him back the gun, Marv. out of here alive we're all going to the chair they know exactly who we are i gotta spell it out for you dutch he's right they gotta die all of them we gotta kill them all Kill him now, Dutch, before it's too late. I killed Carl Get in front of me, quick. Because he's the one who got my shirt. Uh, shut up, Sam. I got a thing. You don't got the guts to do it, I will. Dutch! Who do you think crashed out of McNeil and killed a federal marshal? A federal marshal? Then kill him, Dutch! Just kill all of them! Just kill every one of them! Whack it open, buddy! Kill him! Kill him! Kill him! Kill him! Kill him! Dutch! Now! Who's first, Dutch? Hi, you creep! You're a fungus! You're a liar! Stay out of it, Bernie! Stay out of it! What can you do? It's over now. Stupid half wet, just get out of here.
Huh? What are you looking at? They're dead. They're all dead. Beat it. Beat it. So close. Look, it ain't over yet. Hell, we'll think of something. Honest, you look terrible, Bernie. You ought to, you ought to eat something, then you ought to get some stuff. Slept in days, have you? Hillbillies like us wound up here. Dumb hillbillies. Is this okay? No, not you, man. You got the whole thing all figured out. How to get through them bars and everything. I mean, that was really smart. Yeah, I'm a genius, all right. So damn smart, I picked Kretzer. Yeah. Well, it should have been just you and me and the kid. Should have been. That's what we are now. Just a couple of should have beens. Just run on by. You just rest a while. You just rest easy. Already put men in the East Gun Gallery. I want both of you in the West Gallery. Let's go. I want you other men to cover the whole cell house until you find those captured officers. Do we go in unarmed, sir? Our security has always depended on keeping guns off the cell house floor. I am not going to change that principle now. However, you will be covered from both gun cages above. And when you find those captured officers, do nothing else but bring them out as quickly as possible.
Me and you gotta talk. Listen to me. We gotta come up with some kind of a story, okay? You and me, we gotta alibi each other because they're talking about when we kill these guards. Get out. No, no, listen to me. Get out of here. Okay. I tell you what. When they asked me who killed those guards, I'm gonna tell them that the whole plan was yours. The whole plan was yours. away this morning. They think Corwin's gonna make it, but Weinhold and Simpson are both still critical. The others should be okay. What's this? Lagerson wrote these names in the cell where they were held. Coy, Kretzer, Thompson, Shockley, Hubbard, Durando. Yeah, yeah that surprised me. Well, now we know who they are, and we know how many. But how do we get to them? General Stilwell, thank you for coming, sir. Warden Johnson, General Merrill. Warden? An honor, sir. Sit down, General. Radio reports in San Francisco say the convicts have submachine guns shooting up everything they can see. No, I'm happy to say that's an exaggeration. They're all still in the cell house? Mm hmm How many? Six. And there's no way they can get out. Both entries are covered. A search and destroy operation could wrap this up in an hour. I'm afraid that's not possible, General. No firearms are allowed on the floor of the cell house. But surely in this kind of situation... I'm sorry, General, but I can't take a chance of any more weapons falling into the hands of those killers. Are you telling me you want to take them from the outside? Yes. That means grenades, launchers, maybe mortar fire, the works. Seems the hard way to me, Warden. Are you sure you're prepared I'm to... sorry, but that's the way it'll have to be. You're going to sustain structural damage. Mm -hmm, I'm prepared for that. Do you have any plan of the cell house? Yes. Right over here, gentlemen. The cell blocks. Dining area, kitchen, recreation yard. What's this? Utilities corridor. They run down the center of each block. You know where the convicts are now? Our best guess is that they've all gone over to D block. Here. It's walled in and they might think it's safer. All right, we'll start there. Against these windows. Frank, what's the name of that officer on the base who cleaned out those Japanese caves on Bougainville? Buckner, Charlie Buckner. Get him. Gentlemen, I can't thank you enough. I've had at least two of my men dead and 11 wounded. And I don't give a damn if we kill every last one of those animals. I can't believe it. He's turning a minor mop-up job into a major battle. Yes, but it's his island, Frank. You sure had yourself a good sleep, Bernie. Uh, I feel like it. What do you think, Bernie? You think they'll try sending in a bunch of screws this morning? They'll try something, that's for sure. Want me to roll you one? Yeah. Thanks. Bernie. You know that picture you painted? The, uh, 
the old shack by the uh, side of the road? Yeah. Where was that place? La Rue County, Kentucky. I grew up in that shack. Got off an old photo. believe how beautiful that place was. Indian summer. All red and gold. Leaves falling everywhere. Like walking on a carpet, you know. Sometimes the leaves get so thick over the creek you couldn't even see the water. got a talent. You think so? Honest to God. Here you go. Thanks. Contact, Bergen. All quiet here, sir. All right. Pass the word. We're going to open fire. the god bernie Get your hand away from there. Let me see. Oh, boy. I know it hurts like hell. I've been shot up plenty myself. Bullet went clean through, but it still is going to hurt for a spell. Thanks for the news. You know what helps? Aspirin. Honestly, we got plenty of Marv, do me a favor. Sure, buddy. Get that rifle over there and get me out of here. Mr. Bennett just called again from Washington. He's concerned about the plan to use mortar fire. We have to. The grenades won't penetrate. I told him that, sir, but he's worried about the public reaction if some innocent prisoners are killed. You tell Bennett there are no innocent prisoners in Alcatraz. We will start the mortar attack as soon as General Merrill here tells me his men are ready. Should be 45 minutes to an hour. Excuse me, sir, but one of the men in the West Gun Gallery spotted Kretzer on top of the cell block. Crawled up there through the utilities corridor. And that's a great spot for a sniper. If you don't mind, Warden, my man Buckner knows how to handle snipers. No, he'd never get a clean shot at him up there. There's a roof over the cell block, isn't there? Go to it, General. 
one other thing, sir. The press is getting pretty sore about being kept in the dark. Tell them, tell them six mad dogs are on the loose and we're gonna stop them. Use those words, mad dogs. gave his word, Warden. He swears there aren't any guns in D-Block, and frankly, his word has always been good. You mean he's too smart to lie? All right, tell General Merrill to cease fire. At least maybe his man on the roof can get a shot at Kretzer. What about the others? All we know is that Coy and Hubbard are pinned down in the utility corridor. Let's make sure they stay that way. us. We'd love to fight for love and liberty. <laughs> Mark the place over here, Mr. Bucker. We're directly above the west section of C Block. Right here. Right here. How to see. What the hell is that? Stay back, sir. Just got word that Corwin, Weinhold, and Loggison are all going to pull through. General Merrill says his man broke through the roof. He's ready to blast Kretzer out of there. It's getting dark again. Tell him he'll wait till daylight when we can see what we're doing. Then we'll take the whole bunch of them. still would have wound up there. Yeah. <laughs> no offense to your daddy, but ain't nobody born bad. Not even Kretzer and the Shockley? <laughs> no. Not born. Is that what you wanted? 
Mm-hmm. No, but I was willing to chance it to get what I didn't want. What was it you wanted so bad? Well, at the very first, it was glasses. Glasses? I couldn't see good in school. Couldn't afford to buy me any, so stole me some money to buy me some. That's what started me. Honest, my only regret. I wish I could have done better for my wife and little ones. What about you, Bernie? You got a family? Somewhere, I guess. <coughs> Hill folk. All I ever got from my daddy was a whipping. All I ever got from my mama was her bad teeth. <laughs> I tell you, Marv. We'd known each other when we were kids. We would have made a sorry pair. Mm -hmm. Your eyes, and my teeth. I can't see him at all. He must have ducked into the utility corridor. Okay, thanks. Hey, don't worry about it. We'll get him.
die here like a couple of gophers. If he's still alive. Sir, we're getting gunfire at the east end of the cell house, on the cell block roof. The men in the gun gallery have grenades? Use them. I want a team to stand by with riot guns. You're sending guns into the cell house? Have them ready at the Sally Port door. Grenades first, and then we'll be going in. I want no warnings. Hit hard and hit fast. If we have to, we'll blast them all to hell. the other corridor the east door it's the east door it's near the sally port we get ourselves a couple of screws we can still get Ernie, out of here i think we're all washed up no Ernie, listen to me don't kill him Ernie, come on we gotta keep going we still got a chance It's your fault! It's Buddy Thompson and Sam Shockley were executed in the gas chamber at San Quentin. The body of Dutch Kretzer was claimed by his ex-wife and cremated. Durando's life was spared because of his youth. He was paroled in 1973. Marvin Hubbard's body was sent home to Alabama for burial. No one claimed Bernie Coy's body, and at government expense, he was interred in a San Francisco cemetery in an unmarked grave. <laughs> 